Okay, this is how I control my home theater PC. Um, basically, I, I have a uh, four CPU Windows Media Center PC in my office, uh, which has uh, a Citon uh, Infinity TV4 tuner card, which allows me to do four uh, cable card uh, tuning at once. I also have a HD Home Run, which allows me to add an additional um, uh, two tuners for uh, local channels and unencrypted uh, cable channels. And then I also have an antenna uh, that lets me pick up over the Air HD. Basically what I have here uh, in the living room is my trusty old 50-inch uh, Sony uh, A20 um, HD TV. And then I also have uh, the HD Home, uh, HD home Sports Bar, uh, which I've uh, built and designed on the site. Uh, which is three ViewSonic 19-inch HD TVs, and uh, I used to use uh, Verizon FiOS set-top boxes for all of this. Um, and now with the Citon tuner and the really nice HTPC, I don't need to pay $10 a month for four boxes, so I save myself $40 a month. Um, basically, I use the Xbox 360 as the extender uh, for the main TV because the transitions are really, really good in the Windows Media Center menus. And then those three red lights that you see there, those are actually three Linksys uh, DMA2100 extenders. So, here's how I control all of this. So I basically control everything uh, with this application I wrote, uh, which is called Windows Media Center Controller. And Windows Media Center Controller is uh, hosted on a server in my house and basically I can access it with any PC. My, my family members and I can just use the, uh, a website on our local network to control the entire media center. Um, and it's basically built off of, of two tools, the first of which is uh, the Windows Media Center TCP IP controller, which is an open source project, um, which you can find at vmccontroller.codeplex.com. And this is really neat. This allows me to address uh, all of the media center extenders uh, in my house based on an IP and basically I can send a control to that to each box so I've wrapped that up in my interface and then I also use uh, girder to do the IR control I have a USB UIRT which allows me to uh, basically send IR commands to my system for everything that I can not control over IP so how does it work uh, well basically there's a website that I can load up in my browser and I've got some buttons up here uh, I can turn on the main TV, I can turn on the HD Home Sports Bar, or I can use the master button to turn on everything. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll start with, with just the main TV and I'll click on. And as I click on, you'll hear my receiver click on. And then you'll also see uh, the TV start to power up and the Xbox 360 turn on. Uh, you'll see the Xbox 360 logo pop up. And then I have the Xbox 360 even though I do use it for gaming sometimes, I basically primarily use it for the media center. So as soon as the computer turns on, uh, as soon as the media center turns on, uh, the Xbox automatically connects to the media center. So it's a few seconds to get it up and running, but really not too bad for the experience that you get with media center. So now we're uh, off and running here and we're connecting to media center. And while that's going, um, I'll go back to my application. I'm going to turn on the HD uh, Home Sports Bar. So I'm going to click the on button here. A series of uh, IR commands are all sent simultaneously to the three ViewSonic monitors. And now you can see the Linksys extenders are all uh, individually powering on and going through their warm up sequence. If I tried to control these through infrared, it would be quite a problem because um, they're all the same TV and all the same uh, uh, extenders. So they all share IR codes. So what this application allows me to do is basically send uh, discrete commands to each one of the extenders and uh, allows me to control them uh, without interfering with the other ones. Now the Linksys extenders do take about 40 seconds to boot up. Um, it's not often that I actually use all three of these CVs, typically only during sports days. So I turn it on in the morning and it's not really a big deal after that. Uh, and also sometimes if someone else in the family is watching a, a show that I don't really care for and, and I want to throw on a, a game or the news or something like that. But you'll basically see that the extenders will boot up and they'll all be um, uh, running Windows Media Center. And zoom in here. And 
and now basically back at the application I have the ability to choose if you see that the application kind of mirrors my physical layout here and I can choose which which device I want to control so if I wanted to go ahead and put um, ABC HD on the main TV I can just go ahead and click the ABC HD shortcut that I have built and I'll send the command directly to the TV um, through the Xbox 360 to tune directly to ABC HD. So I click that and it assigns one of the tuners to ABC HD and the first time it addresses the tuner it does take a second to, to tune in but basically I can uh, start ABC HD there and we'll hear that. Um, when I click mute here, that's actually an IR control because my receiver doesn't have IR control, but I do have volume, um, it doesn't have IP control, but I do have IR for the volumes. And basically, I can, you know, use all the functions if I want to click the uh, pause button, for instance, on the on the application. I can pause this, um, and you can see the, the show is paused, and I can use the play button. Um, if I use the green button here to go back to the beginning I can basically go back to the menu and I just built some simple JavaScript to capture key controls so if I navigate the arrow buttons here I can actually navigate and send the commands to to move up on the screen so I don't need any remote to do any type of navigation and I can you know switch back and forth between using the keyboard if I want to go look at my recorded TV um, or I can use the buttons uh, that are actually here on the remote uh, to navigate through all my menus. And uh, basically that control, uh, there's an active TV, so if I wanted to control over on TV2, um, now the commands, you can kind of see, uh, will be moving TV2 rather than moving TV1. It's menus around. So on TV2, I can go ahead and uh, fire up ESPNU, I'll go down to TV3, and um, fire up a station on there. I'll do one for um, TV4 as well. So you can see TV2 is getting the command to go to ESPNU. I'm going to put TV3 on ESPN2. And then I'm going to put TV4 on ESPN New. So there you have it. And you know through all of that I can set up all my different TVs to be on different channels. Um, actually, they're showing similar things here. Uh, but I got all the different games. I've got a game going on up here. And then I've got the, the other channels loaded uh, on the other TVs. And when I'm all done, uh, if I want to shut everything down, I just click the Master Off button. And everything turns down. And uh, one other night neat thing is that um, because it's running on my home network, basically any device in my home can, can get in on the action and control the TV. Um, take a look here at my Nexus S. All I do is navigate to the, to the web page here at the house. And, you know, using this device, I can you know, pause or control the TV any way that I'd like. Um, you know, including sending TV stations to... Uh, the other TVs. So all the commands work uh, the exact same way with uh, multiple devices being able to control it and um, really really happy with, with how this project came out. So let me know if you need any details and uh, happy to share what I've learned uh, with the community. Thanks!